For a long time, men with predispositions to cardiovascular complication have been warned that testosterone therapy may increase the risk of a number of dangerous heart conditions. In addition to this, many men that undergo heart failure or other high-risk cardiovascular complications are often put on drugs which inhibit the ability to produce testosterone in an effort to protect the patient. New research points out that although this advice was intended in the best interest of the patient, testosterone may not have a negative impact on cardiovascular risk in vulnerable patients. Other recent studies have shown that men with higher testosterone levels naturally have stronger hearts, but it was still believed that testosterone could be a hindrance when issues with the cardiovascular system arise. A recent study analyzed the data of 24,000 male medical patients, Medicaid patients, and could not find a link between their use of bioidentical testosterone and the incidence of heart attack among the patients. Medicaid and Medicare are valuable tools for medical analysis because such a large number of Americans use the same plan and the government has the ability to analyze health records in a very uniform fashion. The conventional wisdom regarding testosterone and heart attacks appears to have been the opposite of the truth, in fact. Among the patients that were analyzed, testosterone therapy actually appears to have reduced the risk of heart attack by almost one-third among the men who were most at risk. Hormone therapy is a full-fledged pharmaceutical industry these days, and numerous pharmaceutical companies manufacture and distribute hormones such as bioidentical HGH, testosterone therapy, and HCG and they have spent countless dollars advertising their products and leading the public to become more aware of the potential benefits of testosterone hormone restoration. Many in the past have feared that these measures would cause men to turn to testosterone without a need, but study after study appears to show that testosterone has real and significant benefits, and many of the potential health risks associated with therapy appear to be overestimated. More and more patients, and even athletes, are turning to hormone replacement with testosterone, not as a means of bodybuilding or performance enhancement, but as a means to treat a real and underlying health deficiency. In a recent book, evidence was presented that in 2007, Alex Rodriguez was actually prescribed testosterone replacement under the pretense of testosterone deficiency, and was prescribed the medication legally, although not in accordance with the rules of Major League Baseball. As testosterone receives more thorough study and more respect as a legitimate medical treatment, previous studies which purported the potential dangers of the use of testosterone are being disproven as methods become more exact and our knowledge about how testosterone interacts with human physiology becomes more sophisticated. On the other hand, modern studies that say that testosterone is bad are sometimes flawed. In the year 2013, for example, research was published in the Journal of the American Medical Association claiming that military veterans that utilized testosterone restoration had a 30% increase in stroke, heart attack, and general mortality if they had issues with heart disease prior to therapy. This study has been lambasted by a wide variety of medical groups for a variety of reasons. One of the reasons was that 100 of the over 1,100 patients analyzed were women, which would lead the end result to be significantly flawed. Also, there were major statistical errors which vastly skewed the results of the study. In fact, around the world, more than 25 medical organizations have banded together to recommend that the AMA completely disregard the article for its flaws. In regard to the new study, 6,355 patients that received testosterone therapy of any kind were evaluated with regard to health outcomes in comparison with 19,065 patients that never used testosterone. The patients all received this therapy between the years of 1997 and 2005. What researchers found was that patients that received testosterone treatment were at no greater risk than their control peers for experiencing a heart attack. Beyond this broad comparison, researchers also created groups of patients based off of heart attack risk. 
in the quartile that had the highest overall risk of heart attack. It was found that these patients actually had a 30% lower risk of heart attack than their similarly at-risk peers. Of course, there are some issues that make the results of this study less clear. For one, no consideration was placed on what other pharmaceutical treatments that the patients were taking, only whether they were utilizing injectable testosterone. It is very possible that men that take testosterone are more likely to be proactive with their health in other regards, including their willingness to see a doctor or take heart medications. Also, this study only included patients that had utilized injectable testosterone, excluding all other forms of testosterone therapy. This means that the study did not include any patients that took testosterone gels, patches, or creams, for example. In spite of these issues, the researchers are confident that their study is valuable and provides a more nuanced perspective with regard to how the heart responds to testosterone. The heart is a muscle just like any other, and for men, it appears that healthy testosterone levels benefit heart health just as much as it preserves the health and function of the skeletal muscles. Testosterone deficiency is a real medical condition that has a wide variety of risks. It has been long used as a method to treat sexual dysfunction and restore sexual health but there is increasing evidence that testosterone replacement is a powerful means to safeguard health and wellness. Among other things, there is evidence that testosterone can improve health outcomes with regard to diabetes, obesity, loss of muscle mass, and osteoporosis in older men suffering from the effects of andropause. If you found this video informative, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel. To learn more about health and wellness regarding testosterone replacement therapy, please click the link below in the description.